It only makes sense for me. I guess. <laughs> and that's the story of how this all happened. Yeah, we went up and we beat up guys and it all went pretty well right. No, seriously, that, 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 I'm pretty sure they're trying to do like what Final Fantasy X did, where like the whole build up to like the final battle was Mario just telling the story. I hate that. <laughs> really, I don't hate that. Well, no, I don't like it. I don't hate it, but I don't it, like it. It kind of comes out of nowhere. It's like all those times we died. Wait, that's not right. It's like, you mean we weren't, like, actually following this great adventure and everything? We were just, like, telling a story. But I'm pretty sure that was just Mario telling Luigi how the last battle ended. Hmm. If it makes you feel better. <laughs> like, if you want to flash forward and, like, have them, have Mario, like... And that's the big adventure I went on. And like, that's alright, but when you essentially make the entire game a flashback... I wonder what all the partners are up to. After, mm. after our, uh, great uh, our great adventure. Yeah, I gotta beat up Bowser. It was awesome, despite the fact I was down half the f fucking fight. I did like two damage the entire fight. Uh, like, maybe nine... I'm, go I'm gonna hazard a guess of like 27 in total. If that, it's probably more. Yeah, I want to know how many. I want to know how much damage he did and how many turns he was down in that fight. That, that's your homework for tonight. Yeah, there's folks. your homework, folks. You got to figure out how much damage Mario and Goombario did, how much Bowser healed back up, and all that shit. I don't know if you put it in the, in the <laughs> description. <sighs> of course, he's a mailman. Mail Koopa. Koopa, postman. Post Koopa. That sounds like a weird cereal. Post brand Koopa. <laughs> oh, but it's a letter from Princess Peach to Goombario. I don't know, but how are you gonna open it up? You have no hands. Yeah. Hey Goombario, thanks for doing Jack all in the final fight, being down and all whatnot the entire fight. Still figured I'd thank you though. <laughs> it's the thought that counts. How did he open up the letter? Um, his teeth. Cheapers! Cheapers, creepers. I'm going to take your eyes. Ah! <laughs> oh man, I hope Bowser doesn't crash it. <laughs> and then we can have everybody laughing in the... <laughs> Even Bowser sitting back. Oh, <laughs> no, but seriously, hand her over. <laughs> Fuck you for that one. That was just beautiful. <laughs> what working with the shy guys? She probably keeps them aligned by zapping the shit out of them. I know, but I want to go over here. No. <laughs> <laughs> Afterwards, Watt turned into a terrible tyrant of the toy box. You all bow to my will. <laughs> Hey man, I can't go. I got me a girl. I can't do nothing without her now. That was beautiful. Hey! Thank you. <laughs> hey, Cooper and Colorado are on their on their trip finally. Hey, Cooper, can you actually teach him how to not be a? Ooh, they're going to the Crystal Palace. Hey, good luck finding nothing in there. We already cleaned it out. And Cooper gets to be in charge because he's been there before. Heck yeah. Yeah, what brings you here? Well, I do deliver letters. Uh, stop leaving your home. Throws a snowball at him. So take a wild guess while I'm here. Are they holding clipboards? They are, aren't they? I think they are. Oh my god, I always thought it was like the little th the thing he's wearing, the little ID tag. Yeah, he's got an ID tag. They've got clipboards. Oh man. Anyway, it looks like all the partners got a letter from Peach for some reason. Even though Goombario said it was for a party. Cooper is staring into my soul. <laughs> what are you kidding? You don't have a soul. I stole it years ago. Alright. That 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 stare. <laughs> I'm not I'm not comfortable. <laughs> Zoom in on it. Zoom in again. Zoom in some more! Now spooky music. <laughs> Thank you. 
I like this idea that Colorado, <laughs> Poppycock, Boulder Dash, can I be even more British? That Colorado is, is a professor, like an actual legitimate professor, and I feel like that just stabs you right in the heart and twists the knife every time you think about it. That he's legitimately a respected person in this field of his studies. A little, yeah. I also think about it in terms <laughs> also, of, like, also it's the fact that I'm, no, Also, it's the fact that I actually have a knife in your heart and I'm twisting it. Uh, you know, that'd be where the pain's coming from. I don't think it bothers me that much, though, just because it's actually supposed to be a parallel to uh, Indiana Jones. Now, what's his last name supposed to be? Where's Colorado? Damn it, did they have a dog named Colorado? I think Colorado. <laughs> we named the dog Colorado. Pretty sure Colorado. I like that his. dog. Pretty sure Colorado would be his last name. So what's his first name? Jim. <laughs> Jim Colorado. Nah, Jim's not British enough. <laughs> oh, that's why his wife was talking to Paracary when he was dropping off the letter to Bombat. That's a nice little thing there. I like how Paracary knows that. It's Colorado, like... you're an idiot. <laughs> and he just leaves the other two guys there. Oh, Colorado, you're an idiot. What the f are we supposed to do? You know what? Let's go get laid. <laughs> Where was that bar back in Toad Town? Let's just go get drunk. It was the mailbox. I know that sound anywhere. And our level's still 16. <laughs> We've apparently got 75 FP. Mm -hmm. Or maybe that's 15. <sighs> What's the second one? HP, probably. Well, it was three letters, so it was like experience? That didn't Maybe that me. bottom one was HP. Hmm. I'm pretty sure it was FP. I like how they gave Luigi a little jump sprite there. It's like, yeah, we were gonna put him in the game, but then we thought, fuck it. It's top secret. Top secret, yo. State secret. FBI warning. Can't do it. Well, up yours, Toad. Oh. <laughs> um, hi. <laughs> Let's I... hear it for Mario! No. <laughs> I'm actually surprised I actually had the hammer on me. Everybody's safe, but now Dad has to go back to work and make money so we can prosper. But yeah, we're safe, but now we're all miserable. I mean, peace is awesome and everything, but... Peace is overrated, though. That's why I hold this button to destroy Pluto. Not the planet, the dog. Woo! Not the planet, the dog. Aww. I like Pluto, he's alright. And what the fuck's Goofy? I don't know, alright? <laughs> Here's a question for you. In Goof Troop, who's Max's mom? I don't know. It kinda, it kinda gives the idea that either his mother died, or they got a divorce of some sort. Okay, now, believe it or not, I actually did some looking up into this uh, a little while ago. I don't know why. I was bored, maybe. Obviously. But, um, it's... supposedly she died. Okay. And in trying to figure out who it was, it's never been explicitly stated, but, um, there was a girl that Goofy actually was dating way back a long time ago, 
and though it's not necessarily canon with Goof Troop, it's the best we got. Wait, are we talking about the cow? I don't think it was the cow, it was, um... Crap was her name, it was like Honey Bell or something, Honey Bee. I think it was Bee. Well, you're probably gonna have to put this up later for your, yeah. own, for your own sake. I, I mean, I saw a picture of her at one point, it wasn't the cow. I remember the cow, though. Is there, it's just, there's a lot of confusion because um, you can also look at Max Max's uh, previous incarnation as Goofy Jr. Mm. And though Goofy Jr. isn't strictly canonical with Max and Goof Troop and the like, it's the best we got. Leave me out of your delusions, man. But, but... Vanity's real! We're the delusional ones! Oh, jump out the window! It's my apartment now. <laughs> Alright, have fun paying the bill. <laughs> Let's enjoy the party. That's all she says. You're alright. Raid. Oh man. Hmm. And Luigi said he had to go on ahead. I wonder what other game had a parade led by Luigi. New Super Mario Brothers Wii U. Yes. <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> oh, breaks Mario's neck. Secret game over. I like how the whole time I was thinking, it's like, we beat the master, we'll have no problem with Bowser. You didn't see that, but I was imitating him healing himself. <laughs> it just kind of came back that I didn't care for that. Apparently he can only do it three times, because he did it three times in the battle and he never did it again. Hmm. Like, just give him 189 HP if you want the fight to be that long. Is that how much it adds up to? Yeah. Yeah, it is. I know you want your whole two-digit thing, but like, just give him 189 HP. I don't know if they did that in Thousand Year Door. I think they did. I guess it's because they raised the level cap in that one. Yeah, it went from 27 in this game... 99. Well. Take like you that don't tree. Have, like, you don't have to have such a weird number as that. Just make the level cap 30. And then make it so you level up just a little bit more often, and each level up Dude, is... He's static. Yeah, but then how about Super Mario RPG, where they stop at 30? Well, I just said, like, raise it to 30, and that'd be fine. Okay, what's with all the exclamation points in front of it? I mean, this is They're really excited. This isn't like Spanish or something. Also, the exclamation points would be upside down. Yeah. I think other languages do that, too. Oh, man! <laughs> Listen off all the party members. And yet they you... list sushi last. How do you guys know that? We're gonna party like it's 2001. They know. Of course I'm the hero. It's my goddamn game. It's called Paper Mario, not Paper something. Paper Bowser. <gasps> Yeah, look at that spinning roof. So majestic. <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh, he's heading out to town. Who else buys badges? Toads. 
Wow. They gotta traverse the roads, too. Yeah. I have one last favor to ask you. <gasps> have fun! Oh, okay. <laughs> no! I refuse. <laughs> I will be grumpy. Have you seen those, uh... And unenthusiastic, this entire party. No, have you seen those, uh... Hopper commercials, those dish TV commercials, the one where they're at, they're trying to figure out uh, whose shows they should record, and the one guy sneaks up on the oh, other guy yeah, at the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what it just reminds me of. It's like I have one last favor to ask you: have fun. Okay. Oh. Now, what should we get on our pizza? <laughs> should get pepperoni, like we always do. I wonder if they can say thank you enough. How is she nervous? She's singing right now. Yeah, apparently she's doing pretty all right now. <laughs> and yet she's, oh, she's the only- Oh, she's nervous. And yet she's the only Toad who doesn't have the same Toad no naming convention as everybody else. Yeah, she's named after the... What? Something... I know the mushroom, but I don't... I can't remember it off the top of my head. Somebody mentioned it in the... Comments, and I looked at that and I was like, Yeah, that's pretty much what I thought. Oh, God. Bombette's fan club here. I guess you could say it was a uh, Mario story. <laughs> Some guy walks in, leg barely hanging on by a thread. I need to take a nap. <laughs> Sorry, we're closed. No regenerative powers for you today. But all you have to do is open the door. You're standing right there. but I want to waste time by talking to everyone like you're supposed to. Oh, I already yeah. talked to him. Yeah, we already talked to him. Well, I already talked to him, but apparently wasn't paying attention. You're, you're in my way. You're in my way, sir. Fuck you! Oh. But I like sleeping. It's pretty awesome. Man, I like sleeping. Alright, let's get going. Let's actually get to the castle. I think we talked to everybody. Nope. These three. God dang it. What does that even mean? Honestly, what does the living end mean? Well, he's al he's alive and he brings the end to things. The end of sanity, I guess. Tough crap. You get to choose between that or your wife. I choose wife every day. If I had one! I'd put it in this case right here. <laughs> She'd be a literal trophy wife. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> right cheek usually the one they smack me on. <laughs> he was pretty useful in the adventure, wasn't he? He is alright. I'm so happy. Off to the castle we go. Oh man, what oh, are like crap. <laughs> romance? When did the romance happen? I don't know. Is that one toad that had a crush on that other toad? Oh, okay. <gasps> That's a stupid title. Yeah, that'll never sell. Lava Lava Island? You guys won't exist next Tuesday. <laughs> it's replaced with a completely different island that you all have to migrate to. <laughs> Dinosaur Island. <laughs> oh my god, it's a prequel to Super Mario World. <laughs> that 
that's how they were invited to, 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 to Dinosaur Island this whole time. I like how he calls it a shore, we, we're so far inland. I don't know, there was that whale right back there. But yeah, but that was a port. I mean, we're still kind of near, we're not like that far in near land if we're that close. Hmm. I mean, really, that makes the whole Mushroom Kingdom at Ocean's Edge. <laughs> still dangerous? <laughs> Bam! She dresses up. Yes, those bows were her walking around town kind of things. They're going to a wedding ceremony at Gusty Gulch. Who's getting married? That is it's very good. Is it like Bleach where everybody's just a soul and they can have kids somehow? Because <laughs> <laughs> seriously, how the fuck does that work? Your souls, you're the souls of dead people. You're not supposed to be able to do that shit. Admittedly, not all of them are souls of dead people. And what the fuck are they? Angels? Or whatever the equivalent is in Japanese culture. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with either Shinto or Buddhist, because that's the two major religions. It's not really one or the other. I mean, they're spirits, but they're not like a person had to die to become the spirit. You can it's, almost think of it as a different war, as like a different universe, almost. Uh, then... Like, this is just a different no, place where hold everybody... On, hold on, I'm trying to think, because I remember some of the so, uh, soul... Key, uh, Soul Reapers were actually from the districts, and the districts are for the souls of people who died. Yeah. I mean, some of them are, I'm not gonna say that. Yeah, but apparently those ones can have kids or something. Alright. However that crap works. I know, it's just fucking... And I guess nobody figured out the name Bleach is supposed to refer to the, you know, whiteness of a soul, kind of like the, how it bleaches out, you know, like a soul... A Soul Reaper's job is to cleanse the soul of a person, like Bleach cleanses, uh, whites. Because a soul is usually represented by the color white for purity. Even though we haven't really uh, dealt even, with that in even the storyline for a really long time. <laughs> yeah, kind of. It's, it's like nobody nobody remembers that. It's like this is it's like we're to the point of the story where we're like we don't even know what friggin' Shinigami do anymore. <laughs> we're at the point of the story we don't know what the fuck Ichigo is anymore. It's like we just fucking... like nobody knows what anybody's doing anymore. Just what the crap? Just all fucking gave up. <laughs> Aizen's put us all under his spell. There we go, it all makes sense now. Anyway, back to the game. Yeah, meanwhile, on Paper Mario... <laughs> Princess Peach has arrived! Hey! And I finally stopped talking to everybody. Okay, you know, I kind of have crap to do tonight. <laughs> yeah, you can also sit up properly like I am. Yeah, well, I'm, like, really tired and hot, and I don't care anymore. <laughs> Well, I thought it said Peach has once again returned to the Mushroom Kingdom. It's like, yeah, you're right there. It's like, well, yeah, you're right. She did. <laughs> no, that was her saying it. Mm. She just walks into a room. I have arrived. <laughs> when did Peach start referring to herself in the third person? Walks in. Peach has returned. I don't know, those look like pretty normal bows to me on her. Hey, yo! Gotta talk about my girlfriend over here. She's pretty neat. Hold on a second, I gotta fix my hair. <laughs> wow, look at the family resemblance there. Oh, well. <laughs> they are the Armstrong equivalent <laughs> in this game. <laughs> From the bottom of my heart. Again, I rate it as Peach. <laughs> I hope that the Mushroom Kingdom will enjoy Peach and prosperity for a long time to come. Peach. Well, you are the ruling party, so if they don't enjoy you... Peach, you're kind of egotistical there, aren't you? And you're supposed to be blonde. <laughs> I've kept away from it this whole time, but you're supposed to be blonde. I don't know, I think this was still in the era where they didn't know what the crap they were doing with her hair. No, they already had her hair established as blonde for a long time, so... Because, like, Super Mario World, it was, like, a brownish. Hey! It was, like, brownish in Super Mario World. 
I don't remember what it was in Mario Kart. No, I think they had it had it blonde at that point. Mario 64, it was blonde. And from then on, they kind of kept it blonde. I mean, it was, but how many games how many games came out between this and Mario 64? Mario Tennis, Mario Party, Mario Golf. Yeah, really, I guess any 64 game. <laughs> Look at them. Oh man, they're all so happy. Goombario just doesn't give a crap. Pair of carries throwing confetti. Where did he get confetti at this hour? Lady Bo's just being Lady Bo. Mm hmm. Like, yes, I know I'm awesome. And we hardly screwed up her name. Yeah. Hey, who invited you? <laughs> Showing off a cast of characters. That's not, well, he's got. Fire. Oh, he can do the thing with his hat. Okay, well. In that case. Well, who invited them? I don't know, they just showed up in that giant machine and... Oh, no! What the uh, crap? They got arms! Oh! Oh! Tuna that's whale. The, that's the thing of nightmares! <laughs> Tuna whale was somehow water moving. Yeah, how's that water? How are you part of this? Hi, Colorado. I liked you despite the fact that Naka didn't. But he was a bitch, so we ignored him. Up yours, Colorado. Your wife's hot. Oh, it's, it's Mr. Mustafa. It looks like him and uh, Rolf are No fun. business Rolf. dealings in the middle of the parade. Yeah. Looks like they're hatching out some business. <gasps> oh my goodness. He spoiled his uh, ability in the next Paper Mario game. He touched it by turning sideways. Hey, it's that one guy. Even though that should have made him a bigger Oh, target. look, he's got babies now. Oh, man. Which is kind of weird because he's supposed to, apparently supposed to be a he and yet he has babies. Yeah, it's like, well, how about that? I think if um, it was said if Goombario tattles on uh, on him, he actually questions, like, well, yeah, he maybe actually, that's a lady, actually. I think that's a lady. Is Bootler all by himself? Or is he? <gasps> ah! <laughs> He's gained the ability to float. Oh, no, wait. The booze just, the booze just... Now I screw up on the booze name! This, uh... <laughs> They're stealing his body! Three years, Ogre. Three years, you almost had it. <laughs> He's still been stuck in that tree this whole time. Right, well, and somehow the tree is moving along as part of the parade. Yeah, what a coincidence that the tree he happened to be stuck in was one that the parade route would go by. And somehow the tree is moving. Yeah. Like, it's not a float. Somehow the tree itself just kind of uprooted and... Yoshis. Man, that guy was big. Ah! Oh. And it's... Look at the size of him. Rolf? Ralph. Ralph? I don't know, crap. No, it's, I think it was... No, it was Raph. Raphael. Yeah, Raphael. I just call him Rolf anyway, just to piss off people. Ah, Lava Oh Brana. man, it's Lava Brana. And apparently they hit, apparently they hooked up a giant neon sign on their volcano. <laughs> it is a parade. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, is that the end of the this parade? This little bump, Yoshi's. Eat them. That's exactly what they're gonna do. Yes. <laughs> Even gourmet. You guy. eat him. <laughs> yes. Oh, they ate his fork and knife too. Ooh. Let's get the foot. Let's get the cloud out of here. <laughs> gourmet uh, guy's gonna eat him. Hey, it's Crystal King. The. Person. I don't even know why I'm here. I was just a boss to piss you off. Oh, it's a Crystal uh. King again. It's a dupla ghost, and now he's mad. I'm gonna murder you oh, so Oh, it's hard. Crystal King again. Oh, it's chalk. It was just another dupla ghost. I'm gonna murder the two of you for mocking me so hard. Oh no, my crystal bits have stolen me away. Hey, Junior Trooper. Up yours. Oh, he's having a fight with Cammy. It's kind of neat, actually. Wizard battle. Wow. Well, I guess they'd have to be pretty good with their hammers. They're also juggling them at different speeds. That Bowser looks so mad. And now he looks crispy. I like the way he looks. And he actually had a different animation, too. Well, you see, I like the way he looked in that clown car. He didn't look all big-headed and goofy. He looked like he was friggin' Bowser. And he fried the crap out of Cammy and Junior Troopa. Feel better now? Oh my god, that's gotta be uncomfortable for those three. 
We've got our own flow tomorrow. <laughs> We've got our own Christmas trees. And we're also on Christmas trees. Oh. Wait, Bumpities? Is that their name? Ah, uh, Bumpty. Oh, Bumpty. What if there was a toad named Bumpty? He'd probably have a very dis uh, very confusing time if he went up north. <laughs> And she was oh man, able look at her sing. singing. And Toad's playing violins in the cello. But we don't have that one Yo, Toad. Yo, give me your experience. But we don't have that one Toad. Like, it's just not the same without that one Toad in the back going, yeesh, yeesh. Oh man, they're going to magic up something fierce. I'm alive. Uh. And they call down the sun. We managed to magic a plug into an outlet. <laughs> it was very difficult. It cost us all 30 years off our lifespan. <clears throat> Thankfully, we all live forever, so no big deal. <laughs> it's very awkward. The mathematics just don't really work out that well. Well, that's gaudy as all get out. Now do a funky dance. Do a little dance. Dancing. Yeah! Got even a little float of his tank. If you could call it a tank. With a big disco ball in the back. Shy Guy Dance Squad. More of a pose <laughs> there's, than a dance. There's, they're a superfluous squad in the military, but god damn it, when they dance, it just raises everybody's morale. They're worth like, the. They serve <laughs> no. They really serve no purpose. But we just can't get rid of them. They're worth a the hundred million coins every year in the in the military budget. How do you get your heads to do that? Aren't there mushrooms that can do that? I don't know, but it's still weird. So that's how they do that. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm a Mario. Look at me, I'm a Mario. Oh man. Yeah, Mario's got this like. I'm this. I'm just some guy off the street wave going like, yeah, woo! And Peach is like, I'm used to this. Look at me! I got invited to this. Look at me! I'm up here. Hey, everybody! He's got this. I, I'm used to this royalty wave. <laughs> uh, yes, yes. Again, I know. <laughs> hey, you know what? We just want to watch the rest of this fun to this. I'm gonna go over here, sit down, and watch the parade. I was gonna say, if they were gonna go inside his house, that is really suggestive for a Mario game. And that is the end of Paper Mario. Yeah. It's a pretty great game. I, I really enjoyed it. It got a little tedious at the end, but you know what? Well worth it, and definitely one you should get on the virtual console if you can. Your final thoughts? Um, you're gonna hate me for it, but I'm actually gonna hold a dissenting opinion. The game... I don't think the game was, like, bad or anything, but I wasn't, like, wowed by it. I didn't see this in... Like, it's a good game, but I don't see why it's as, like... I don't see the behind itness of, like, why it's as fantastic as everybody thinks it is. So I guess I kind of have the same opinion with that as you have with, uh... I don't know, I was going to say, like, Earthbound, but... Mm. Like, yeah, everybody praises it, and it's an alright game, but I don't know if I see it as... And by as, everybody, you mean me. Yeah, I don't know if I see it as, like, as great as everybody makes it out to be. But, yeah, that's, uh, that's one man's opinion as opposed to another man's opinion. So, um, take with that what you will! Oops. Up yours, game. We're trying to enjoy a finale here, why you gotta be that way? Why you gotta be that way, game? Well, that is it for Paper Mario next time. Maybe when we have to deal with an old thousand-year door. A legend that has been around for many years. For many of one a millennia. <laughs> Until next time, everyone. Pikachu! Pikachu! Pikachu!